Well, it's Monday. That's right. And today, the weekend is done, the work week's begun, and we are talking about the guillotines. That's right. Now, this is take two, because I couldn't say it earlier. <laughs> but you, you don't want to miss this. this oh, we got to talk about it. The guillotines. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. <laughs> Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. And happy, happy Monday. I hope you had a great, great weekend. We did, uh, as usual. Uh, we just, we had a lot of fun. And I hope your weekend was wonderful too. Uh, July 4th is tomorrow. So, happy Independence Day, everybody. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And down below are links to all our stuff. If they're not there, the thenerdyronin.com is the place to be. So, oh man, we got to talk about this. I love Asian cinema in all its forms. Uh, and the movie we're going to talk about today is made by the same people that did uh, the Infernal Affairs trilogy, which is one of the greatest trilogies I've ever seen in Asian cinema. Uh, in fact, The Departed is based on that trilogy. Uh, not well, but because The Infernal Affairs is three movies and you need those three movies to really build the world and the characters. And uh, The Departed did it in one film and as good as that movie is, it's not great as it could be. So, I don't remember where I found this movie at. The Guillotines, all right? Uh... It's from the, I guess it's just the director of the Infernal Affairs to do this, which is fine. Um, Andrew Lau. But I really wanted something with depth and action and well done. Just great. Because that's what Infernal Affairs was. Even though this is in a different time period. Um... A secret brotherhood of assassins, the guillotines, once favored by the emperor. Are, and that's not, they were his, like, assassin force, secret assassin force. Right? Are now a force of horror, or terror, and oppression under a new regime. <sighs> oh, look. This movie, let's look at it. Oh, I'm just so frustrated. Alright. 2012, rated R, hour and 52 minutes. And the synopsis on Internet Movie Database is even worse. An elite crime-fighting unit in the court of the Chinese Emperor relies on flying swords to defeat their enemies. No! <sighs> Look, y'all. This movie is about a secret assassin force, like secret cops, if you will, that are sent on secret missions by the Emperor, and they're basically assassins. That's, ba that's basically what they are. It's assassins. And then the tide turns and they become the enemy. And there's now going to be a, a rifle division for that works for the Emperor because as time moves forward, just like in samurai times when the sword was the weapon of choice, of choice then weapons like guns became a thing that superseded the sword and in this movie same thing applies guns were more powerful had a further distance they could fire and take somebody out etc so the guillotines became a problem so the emperor sends people to wipe out the guillotines like they're a dirty secret of some sort now this sounds like a wonderful premise like, there's a lot you could do with that. Especially if the fighting, is the, the, the martial arts of the movie is really good. You get to see this unique fighting force 
just wiping the floor with people and then eventually get taken down by Rappelman. That would be what I would do. <laughs> Unfortunately, right off the bat, the main fight right at the beginning of the movie to pull you in is so full of computer generated effects that are poorly done like they tried but they just didn't do it super well and it just kind of is a turn off for the rest of the movie which is extremely boring until the end nothing in this implies that these this team of assassins the guillotines are amazing throughout the movie they just get slaughtered like by anybody in one case a group of farmers kill one of them this movie tries to be complex and complicated and have a good storyline and it sorely misses at pulling that off and the fighting and the martial arts and the action part which should be front and center is mediocre at best at the, at the end it tries to be deep and it just doesn't work on so many levels. It was really frustrating to watch. In fact, I could have slept through 80% of this movie and I wanted to. I was so looking forward to this movie. And if you sit down to watch this movie, I'm sorry because it's just not done well and this is two weeks in a row we have two different movies that don't pay off what they promise in the trailers or with the description and it's sad because I want to go I don't mind in Asian cinema for it to be deep and complicated and complex and longer than usual as long as the story and the acting and cinematography and everything is so good. It's worth the time and effort. This movie is not. And I get it. They're trying to tell a specific story. Unfortunately, they just couldn't pull it off. Sad. So sad. But not to worry. The next two movies... For this week, Hump Days and Kung Fu Fridays are going to be fantastic. I just, I feel it. I feel it in my bones. So there you have it. Unfortunately, after such a great weekend, the day before a wonderful, great holiday, the movie is horrible. That's my take. Sorry to say. There you go. I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. Celebrate for me. <laughs> enjoy some fireworks remember to reach out to your battle buddies and make sure they're doing okay in this season for michael the microphone bob squeaky chair in the back and this frustrated nerd we will see you on wednesday <laughs>